morning. I'm back. I can't believe it. I thought I was on my way out of here after we released 14 seals and sea lions. But now we have a little young, um, a yearling sea lion who has appeared on the beach. And uh, our stranding and rescue team still here because of the seal and sea lion release that just occurred are now getting prepared to do a rescue of this little sea lion. So it's very fortuitous that everyone was here already. So here's what we're noticing. Um, I, I can't get any closer. I don't want to freak out this little guy. Um, we've had mass strandings of sea lion pups up and down the coast and it's mostly because of malnutrition. There's just not enough food out there. And these guys are starving. And there's also something called demoic acid toxicosis, which is a toxin that they get from eating bad fish that have been chowing down on pups and algae blooms. And it attacks their nervous system. It makes them very confused. Sometimes they can have seizures, and this little sea lion, this is not normal for a little sea lion to fall out and just lay on the beach. So, team, I think, is, is preparing to go in and get this guy and then take him back up to the hospital in Sausalito. So what they're doing, what they're probably doing, is um, trying to figure out who is going to do what. There's, there are protocols, um, there's strategy. This animal is right at the, almost at the water's edge and could very easily, if scared, dash back into the water and if there is a problem with this animal we would like to be able to take it up to the hospital, fix them up and then send them back home to the ocean. We, we never want to take an animal out of the environment if we don't have to. So that's why they're just kind of watching for a while and trying to figure out what, how they're going to go about it. My guess is that people will take boards and go to the edge of the water behind the animal to create a barrier, and here they go. I would go right up to the crew so that you could hear what Sue is telling them, but I don't want to get in their way. Um, but she is outlining the strategy of how they're going to surround this animal. So it's been an unbelievable day here on Pescadero State Beach. As I said, we just sent 14 patients back home to the ocean. We also just had a beautiful, oh, so special sighting of two gray whales passing by on their way back up from Baja up to Alaska. That was really exciting. Um, yeah, this, this animal is showing some strange behavior. Definitely not normal for an animal to come up and be so close to people who are cruising around the beach. 
but who knows? Casting a sea lion was very that's for sure. So, there are little tiny holes at the top of our rescue boards so that we can do just what Mitch and others and my friend Gail is right there. Um, so that we can hide behind them and still see where they're going. And here is the bottom. They're going to guide him into the crate. possibly fluids. Your analysis, blood work. Let's see what Gail has to say. Gail, you have anything to say about the rescue? Uh, what did you smoothly. notice about the animal? The animal is a California sea lion. Uh, pretty skinny, looks malnourished. Not, didn't put up much of a fight, so it's yeah. pretty weak. Right. Poor so, thing. Yeah. And again, and this is probably a yearling. And there they go. Wow. Amazing day. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye.